PS5 has been a long time coming, but we're finally here. If you are one of the lucky few who managed to get their hands on one, you might be wondering what the best PS5 multiplayer games are while you wait for the next big hitter in a year where they keep getting delayed. Well, there are a few multiplayer games already available on the console that, in our opinion, are going to keep you plenty entertained until the next wave of AAA releases hit the shelves. We want to highlight these games for you and prove that the PlayStation 5 does not have the limited discography that many people assume it does. So here are the best multiplayer games on PS5 that have been released so far. Before then though, if you could slap subscribe and smash the like, it will help us get to 10,000 subscribers. Please, it's been 84 years. 10. Worms Rumble It's safe to assume that almost every gamer over the age of 16 has played a Worms game at some point in their life. It's been a long-standing party favourite thanks to its quirky and easy-to-follow turn-based PvP gameplay, a formula that has seen the series remain in relatively good standing for over 25 years. Worms Rumble is more a spin-off than a main series entry, primarily because it ditches the familiar turn-based combat in favour of an RTA system. As you could imagine, this results in some seriously chaotic gameplay that takes place over multiple game modes and maps. There is a range of typical Worms weaponry and tools for you to make use of, all in a way that feels both different and remarkably similar to what you're used to. Worms Rumble isn't the kind of game you're going to sink 40 hours into over the course of one week, but it is a great title to have on your hard drive to play with your friends, although only online multiplayer is supported at the moment, meaning no couch co-op. However, there is crossplay, so it's not all bad. 9. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Like Worms, Mortal Kombat is a prestigious series that dates all the way back to the early 90s. Mortal Kombat is well known for being the franchise that resulted in the ESRB rating scheme being implemented in gaming. That should tell you about what level of gore and violence each game entails, so be prepared to get very acquainted with blood and bits of sick. MK11, despite being the 11th entry in the series, still managed to impress fans and critics alike when it launched in 2019. It was praised for the quality of its story mode, which has been a highlight of the last three Mortal Kombat games, as well as its immensely improved online netcode and finely tuned gameplay, plus all the nut punching. However, the game has drawn criticism thanks to Netherrealm doubling down on the microtransactions that had begun to present themselves in Mortal Kombat X. A whole lot of the roster is behind a paywall that you can just buy the ultimate version to get everything until they inevitably add Pickle Rick as a DLC character or something. MK11 is one of those games that you both pick up and play every now and again, or dedicate hundreds of hours to, no matter what the system you're playing it on. Just be prepared to get absolutely bodied in online multiplayer though. 8. Dead by Daylight Dead by Daylight was initially released in 2016 for PC. The fact that the game got a PS5 port at the end of 2020 is indicative of how popular and impressive this multiplayer horror game truly is. There are very few indie games that have seen the level of support and success Dead by Daylight has. Not only does the game have a player base of over 20 million people, but it's been so successful that it has had several mainstream horror-related DLC tie-ins with the like of Nightmare on Elm Street, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Scream, Halloween, Left 4 Dead, and Stranger Things. The core gameplay of Dead by Daylight is simple. Four survivors taking on one killer. The survivors are trying to power generators around the map to unlock the exit, while the killer tries to stop them, sacrificing them to a mysterious entity in the process. The gameplay mechanics go far deeper than that explanation, but covering how well put together the game is would require an essay as opposed to an entry on a list. The meta is far more complex than Killer Go Stab, and with about 90 million characters to learn, you will be at it for a while. As a nice bonus, you can get a free PS5 upgrade for DBD if you own the PS4 version. 7. Rainbow Six Siege Since its release in 2015, Rainbow Six Siege has grown to be a massive esports title that provides a viable alternative to giants like CSGO and Dota. While it's played competitively on PC, it gives console players a chance to experience the slow-paced tactical FPS gameplay that CSGO became so well-renowned for. A game of Siege features 10 players, 5v5. There is a team of attackers and a team of defenders, both of which are fighting over two bomb sites located on the map, though players may also compete over a hostage. 
Where Rainbow differs from the formula is in its hero-based gameplay. Each player picks an operator with unique weapons, stats and abilities. This adds a layer of depth to Siege that turns it from a fun novelty into one of the most advanced tactical shooters ever created. If Call of Duty is starting to lose its appeal, then Rainbow Six Siege is a perfect candidate to replace it on your shelf. 6. Destiny 2 The story of Destiny is one that most gamers are familiar with. What was initially meant to be Bungie's magnum opus departure from the Halo series was marred by internal disputes, ultimately resulting in a hollow and half-finished game that still managed to be incredibly fun and addicting. When the sequel, Destiny 2, was released, many people hoped that it would be the game we were promised the first time around. It wasn't, but through the release of several content updates and DLCs, Bungie has managed to turn the title into one worthy of the developer's revered name. Destiny 2 is the closest thing we've gotten to an FPS MMO, with it being set over a series of different planet-based overworlds, each loaded with quests and missions. The game has maintained a strong player base over all these years and through all of the issues for a reason. It has all the potential in the world. If you haven't played it yet, the PS5 version is free to download without any of the DLC. This gives you a chance to experience the world for yourself before you decide to invest any money in it. For those of you who have played it but put your Guardian to rest some time ago, there has never been a better time to get back involved with the series. 5. Warframe if you thought 2015 was old for a PS5 port, it had come as a bit of a shocker to discover that Warframe was released in 2013. A nearly 10 year old game that came out before the PlayStation 4 has been ported to the PS5. It's exceedingly rare, if not unheard of, for a game to be ported through two generations of hardware, so that should tell you all you need to know about the quality of Warframe. It's a multiplayer third-person shooter that blends open-world map design with procedurally generated missions to create a gameplay loop that stays entertaining for longer than a lot of games similar to Warframe. The age of the game also means that it has had a number of content releases, overhauls and updates with more to come. If you dive into Warframe for the PS5 now, you are getting 8 years of gameplay all at once. Oh, and it's free to play on the PS5 too. Free, we hear, is quite good. 4. Apex Legends Apex Legends was touted as a Fortnite killer when it was first released. Seemingly overnight, the game took over the top page on Twitch with the likes of Ninja gushing about how great the game was. That steam eventually died out thanks to a lack of content updates from developers Respawn Entertainment, but that didn't change the fact that it had core mechanics so good it was considered a better BR than Fortnite when that game was at its peak. While it's maybe too late for Apex to recapture that outrageous amount of hype, that hasn't stopped the Respawn team from rolling out content for the game, including new legends, love you Octane, and battle passes. Had Apex, which is free to play, released in the state it's in now, it would have put Fortnite in the grave and we would be looking at a much different gaming landscape. But make no mistake, Apex still whips ass. 3. Rocket League Rocket League is the best underdog story since Rocky. Dead by Daylight might be among the most successful indie games of all time, but Rocket League comes pretty damn close to taking that crown itself. It was developed and published by a small American game studio called Psyonix in July of 2015. In a stroke of genius, the game was offered free that month for PlayStation Plus members. The addicting casual multiplayer gameplay, combined with getting the title into the hands of millions of players worldwide, turned Rocket League into an overnight sensation that has continued to ride that hype thanks to an acquisition of Psyonix by Epic Games. Rocket League is free to play on PS5 and maintains both a solid casual fan base as well as a thriving competitive one. So, even if you have no aspirations to play Rocket League Esports yourself, there's no harm in putting the game on your hard drive for when you and your friend are bored. Number 2. Fortnite Can we tell you anything about Fortnite that you don't already know? It's arguably the most important title in the history of modern gaming. It propelled the medium into the mainstream with merchandise sales, news coverage, and even social events. We all remember that Ninja New Year. God, it's been years, but the cringe fact of 50 still hurts my soul. 
Not only that, but Fortnite had a massive impact on the gaming industry internally, showing publishers that it was possible to turn a free-to-play game into a golden goose with nothing more than cosmetic microtransactions rather than the loot box system that had been so prevalent. Regardless of what your thoughts on Fortnite are, you can't deny that it's got some seriously fun and addicting gameplay. The building style combat isn't for everyone, but it's unbelievably unique and unlike anything we had seen before or have seen since. Fortnite is forever going to be a staple of the gaming world, so we wouldn't be surprised if it pops up on a PS6 list in 6 or 7 years. And at number 1, Call of Duty Warzone. Being called a Fortnite killer and actually succeeding as one are two entirely different things. Many titles bore the name of the former, but only Warzone actually became the latter. While Fortnite is still going strong, Warzone has presented a genuinely viable alternative to the game, at times matching it in popularity on streaming platforms and giving streamers a battle royale that they could play and enjoy away from the hyper-competitiveness that had become Fortnite. Warzone offers players a more mature battle royale experience. It's that Call of Duty gameplay we all know and love, packaged into a massive map full of vehicles, buildings and objectives. There isn't much we can tell you about Warzone that you don't already know and there is a reason for that. The PlayStation 5 might still be relatively new, but Warzone is going to remain one of the best multiplayer games out on the platform until it's put out of commission, if ever. And there you have it, that is our list of the best PS5 multiplayer games. You know the drill by now, we pass the question off to you. Do you agree with the list? Do you disagree? And have you played any of these multiplayer games? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the like button. It really helps us grow the channel and overcome that goddamn algorithm. And subscribe to the channel for much more content like this and even more coming in the future. Hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss it all coming straight to your ruddy inbox. Check us out on all the social medias on screen, including the Cultured Vultures website, culturedvultures.com, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. But until then, until then, cuckoo.